Dealer document fees. I'm sure you're wondering if this fee is legitimate or not because by far it's the most common fee to show up on car contracts everywhere. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homer Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Welcome to the home of super high intensity training on how to buy or sell new or used cars, courtesy of the Homer Guy team. Let me say something here. This video should be the most viral video I've ever made. Why? Literally every car buyer who has ever gone to a dealership has been stung by this. 100%. Of all the fees car dealers charge their customers, the document fee is the most consistently charged fee and the fee also with the most AKAs or also known as titles like e-file fee, dealer fee, dealer processing fee, electronic filing fee, and many more. All of it designed to get around state laws that clueless legislators wrote to prevent cheating and gouging a customer. See, these lawmakers have no idea who they're dealing with. The information you get on this video will be so clearly explained and so good that it's going to tick you off. And you're going to want to share it everywhere. That's exactly why this should be the hottest video I've ever produced. Today, I'm going to explain to you what documentation fees are or doc fees and why dealers charge you to begin with. To start with, I have to explain why there's a difference between dealer retail on a used car and private party prices. Now, it might surprise you, but that's key to the entire discussion. Then, I'll show you a list of costs that dealers claim document fees help cover and how much document fees average in your state. Last of all will be strategies you can use to avoid paying documentation fees altogether, and you'll understand why I say you should never pay more than 75 bucks. Before we do that, here's a short message from the Homework Guy staff. If you're a first timer on the Homework Guy channel, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the Homework Guy if you'd like a response directly from Kevin or one of the Homework Guy staff members. We're always glad to help our loyal followers, and the best part is there's no charge. You can also email the team at info at with a specific question, or if you'd like a free contract review, just black out your personal information and send it to us. We'd love to hear from you. Just be aware that we do get a lot of requests, so just be patient while you wait for a response. Back to you, Kevin. To start, I need to explain what a documentation fee is. Dealer documentation fees, also known as doc fees, will be explained by most dealers as a fee to cover administrative costs related to title, registration, and other paperwork that they must do involving your car purchase. Now, that's the basic explanation. You'll get more in a moment, but now I want to outline a few of the reasons that dealer retail prices are different for used cars and much higher than the price that you'd have to pay for a private party seller for the exact same car. Pay special attention. This is going to get hilarious, if not ironic, in a moment. Here are just 14 of the responsibilities dealers have, and there are many more, that account for why their used car prices are much higher than the exact same car at private party values. Here we go, and in no particular order. Number one, checking vehicle maintenance, safety, history, and titles. Number two, provide a full condition and information label on the car window. Third, determine and disclose accurate vehicle mileage. Number four, obtain and print all the legal forms required for the process of selling a car. Number five, processing title transfers and license plates. Number six, maintaining proper security for private client information as well as dealership, state, and federal information. Number seven, adherence to admission, testing, and laws. Eighth, passing along information, including lemon law notices. Number nine, processing taxes on your purchase. Number 10, processing rebates for your new cars. Number 11, disclosure of consumer rights and obligations. Number 12, maintain technology for loan and paperwork processing. 13, training dealership staff. And 14, maintain licenses to conduct business. Now, there's a reason why I gave you those 14, there are several more, but I give you those 14 for a specific reason. Now, let's move on to the list of costs that dealers have used to explain why they must charge a document fee. Buyers have heard every one of them at this point or another. Here we go. Here we go, and in no particular order. Number one, checking vehicle maintenance, safety, history, and titles. Number two, provide a full condition and information label on the car window. Third, determine and disclose accurate vehicle mileage. Number four, obtain and print all the legal forms required for the process of selling a car. Number five, processing title transfers and license plates. Number six, maintaining proper security for private client information, as well as dealership, state, and federal information. Number seven, adherence to admission, testing, and laws. Eighth, passing along information including lemon law notices. Number nine, processing taxes on your purchase. Number ten, processing rebates for your new cars. Number eleven, disclosure of consumer rights and obligations. Number twelve, maintain technology for loan and paperwork processing. Thirteen, training dealership staff. And fourteen, maintain licenses to conduct business. All right, did you get that? This list that justify documentation fees is exactly the same as the list that justifies why dealers charge more for a used car than any private party seller. 
You see the problem here? This is known as the double dip. Listen closely. By charging a documentation fee, the dealer is doing nothing more than charging you twice for services they provide. The first time by being a dealer and having an already much higher price for their vehicle than a private party seller because, you know, of all the stuff they do. And the second time when they charge you a documentation fee, you know, because of all the stuff they do. And it's all the exact same stuff. The, <laughs> I can't help myself. <laughs> The justification for higher sales prices and the justification for documentation fee is the exact same stuff. Why would you take the whack for it twice? Does that make any sense? Of course not. I started this video by giving you the canned explanation for what a documentation fee is, but that was just a pile of crap. What a documentation fee is and all the other dealer fees are is nothing more than the dealer changing the sale price of the car, jacking it up with a fee after you agreed to a price. It's that simple. Let me give you an example. Imagine if a person came to buy a trailer that you had listed for sale at the end of your driveway for 500 bucks. They ask if you would accept 450 and you say, sure. As they pull out the money, you say, that brings the total to $550. Imagine their surprise. What? The buyer yells, I thought you were accepting 450. You say, yes, but I have a $100 fee. The total is 550. Pure nonsense. All you did was jack up the price of the trailer after you agreed to sell it for 450. The buyer knows it, you know it, and you're probably going to get a kick in the pants right here. Now, Remember that trailer story because I'm going to come back to it in a moment. Let's move on to how much dealers charge for documentation fees in each state. And I put them in order by how much they charge. This is where it gets really funny and shows you how much of a mockery dealers have made out of documentation fees across the country. Here's the states and their average fees in money order. Minnesota 75, New York 75, Oregon 75. You see that? Why does Kevin say charge 75 or never pay more than 75? Three states do this service perfectly for 75 bucks. Now California, $80. Arkansas, 129. South Dakota, 129. They're starting to get a little greedy. Pennsylvania, 134. Texas, 150. Washington, 150. Illinois, 169. West Virginia, 175. Iowa, 180. Vermont, 180. Indiana, 198. Missouri, 199. And Alaska hits 200 bucks. Louisiana 200, Michigan 210, Rhode Island 220, Wisconsin 229, Hawaii 245, Ohio 250, Mississippi 260, Delaware 292, Idaho 299, Montana 299, Nebraska 299, North Dakota 299, Oklahoma 299, Utah 299. These states need to quit talking to each other. DC 300 bucks. Maryland, $300. New Mexico, $339. South Carolina, $350. New Hampshire, $379. Massachusetts, $395. Kansas, $399. New Jersey, $399. Arizona, $425. Kentucky, $450. Alabama, $499. Connecticut, $499. Maine, $499. Nevada, $499. Wow, are these states getting greedy. Tennessee, $500. Wyoming, $500. Colorado, $598. Georgia, $599. North Carolina, $599. Virginia, $599. And the greediest dealers in the world are in Florida, $7.99 average dog fee. Now, here's the thing. You notice all these fees that got just extraordinarily high. These are just averages. Yeah, there's plenty of them that would charge you a thousand bucks for a dog fee. But now that you have figured out why I always say you should never pay more than $75 for a dog fee. If car dealers in Minnesota, New York, and Oregon are perfectly fine with a $75 dog fee, so are all the other dealers in all the other 50 states. Florida, $799 average documentation fee. What a joke. It costs a dealer in Florida $800 to send your title and license documents to the state DMV, while a dealer in Oregon does it for $75? Yeah, not a chance. Now, I promised I'd give these strategies for getting rid of documentation fees. First, you have to understand that clueless legislators in some states pass laws that require dealers to charge all customers the same document fee. Let me translate. Because of dim-witted legislators, yeah, those guys, who don't realize how crafty dealers are, the smart crooks. These stupid laws they thought would prevent dealers from playing fee games with their customers, well, it led straight to dealers ripping off every single customer that walked through their doors and telling each one of you that they have to charge the fee according to state law. How ironic. 
The dealer has been screwing all of its customers with a $5.99 dock fee, for example, before you walked in, and now they get to screw you too as well because they say that the state law requires them to do it. Isn't that just great? All right, here's how to deal with that crooked dealer, and to illustrate it, I need to bring back the example of the trailer you were selling at the end of your driveway. Remember that one? Okay, so you were selling it for $500, and the buyer offered you $450, and you accepted then you told him that the amount due is $550 because, you know, your $100 fee. Most buyers would just pocket their money and walk away. However, there's another way to deal with this. The savvy buyer of the trailer says, I didn't know anything about your $100 fee. And you explain that you charge everyone the same. The buyer says, well, that's easy. I got a solution. I'll pay that $100 fee and a sale price of $350 for the trailer. And that brings the total to $450. You scratch your head. You've been outfoxed. In the same exact fashion, the smart car buyer agrees to the documentation fee. The dealer claims they must charge by state law and then just take it out of the price of the car. That's exactly how you do it. When you do the math, you end up right where you plan to be, landing right on top of the very price you negotiated and agreed to pay for the car you want. You see how simple that is? I hope you never get stuck with a ridiculous document fee again. And if you ever run into a dealer charging more than $75, just subtract it from the price of the car. If the dealer says they can't do that, you immediately say, oh, are you saying that uh, you can't do what every dealer in Minnesota, New York, and Oregon does for $75? You now know what a document fee is. You know about the double dip. You understand that dealers have made a joke out of it, charging anywhere from 75 to 1000 bucks, depending upon what state you're in, and you know exactly how to get rid of it. You're welcome. Now, here's how you get even with every dealer who ever hosed you with a documentation fee. I'm talking about literally every dealer in the country doing it to every buyer they see. Share this video out everywhere. Blast it out to every group that you're a member of. Have it ready to play the next time you visit a dealership. That'll tick them off. And then let them know, thanks to the Homework Guy team, you're on to them. Let's make this one go viral. All right, if you appreciated the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Include hashtag the Homework Guy in your comments. Share the video on social media with your friends. Like we said, make sure you blast it out everywhere. If you've watched all the videos on this channel, let me know what you've learned. How did you apply the techniques to win on your last car deal? And if you got stuck with one of those ridiculous document fees, comment below and let us know who the dealer and what city and state they're in. For those of you who like to say thanks with the tip, the links you see right here on the screen for PayPal and Cash App, they'll be easy to find in the description box down below. There's zero obligation, so don't worry about it. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos, free contract reviews, market updates, and more. And to the complete dismay of car dealers, we aren't going anywhere. And this video will be up forever. You can share it every single time you go car shopping. Thanks to all of you coming back to visit, sharing our videos with your family and friends, and being a much needed part of bringing awareness to shoppers in the auto industry. You guys rock. That's it for now. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone.